What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Collider Interview Studio at South by Southwest 2024. I am beyond thrilled to be here with the team behind Babes. Your movie was wonderful. I love ah! so much about ah! it. In particular, your chemistry together, your friendship, it just like radiates off the screen and it filled my heart. Aww. Um, we've literally been friends for decades. Yes, for a long time. We age well, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing better than working with your friends. Oh, I want to ask about that. But first, I clearly know what Babes is. A lot of our audience is going to first learn about the movie through the festival. Alana, I'll give you this duty considering you're a co-writer on it. Can you give everyone a brief synopsis of Babes? So uh, Babes is about two best friends, Eden and Dawn, yes. and how our friendship is tested through becoming young parents. I feel like you need to make a trilogy of films about becoming a parent. Mm. Love the assignment. <laughs> I, well, well, because I was thinking of false positive too, where oh, it's yes, like, yes. like you com you combine that scenario with different genres. Right, right. I'm I'm really interested in it. That was like my fear before having kids. This was the joy that I've enjoyed even since before. You know, I was pregnant when I uh, started writing this with Josh Rabinowitz and Susie Fox, and you know, I, I think what we ended up landing on the interesting nug for us was how friendships change throughout mm. that process. Oh, that's so true. I'll, I'll build on that before I go to my, my friendship question here, Ooh. but what was the core idea that started this all for you? But then I also want to know what your break story moment was that made you feel like you had a full film here. Um, so oh God. are yeah. you a psychology major? <laughs> like what is going really on? Good. Good. I mean, Perry, you know, well. Am I supposed to be paying attention? <laughs> Perry's, the best. Yet? Perry's the best. Perry is five out of five. Um, Perry's single. So uh, <laughs> I'm fine with you vouching for me in that department right now. <laughs> um, so I wrote this with my co-producers. I, I wrote this with Josh Rabinowitz and Susie Fox was uh, a producer on this who really had like a shower vision of me and a best friend and we have little ones and our friendship is tested. And, um, you know, we kind of threw all our ideas in a bucket. We were at different stages in our experiences. Me and Josh, I was pregnant and so was his wife and Susie had two little ones. And the way that we started organizing all these ideas and, and hard, funny comedy ideas, but what really drew us in was how your friendships change as you become parents and continue to change. That for us was what drew us into a real deeper story. Clearly I'm at that age range where that is all too relatable. For you two now, you, you mentioned that you've been friends for a long time and I love highlighting long-term friendships and collaborations in this industry. Do you remember the first time you met and what you each saw in the other that signaled to you this is a good creative partner for me. Oh, w welcome to The View, everyone. <laughs> what is happening? What in the Creative Arts Emmy award-winning hey. colliding hey, I'll take that. interview yeah. is happening? I can't. So you know, like when you do stand up in New York, you do like three or four sets in a night, and so you're out, and it's so it's sort of like a blur. It does feel like college, where you're just like, I'm not hungover, I'm not drunk, but just I'm just doing a lot. And so I don't remember the first time we met, but I just remember energy. Like you see yep. someone in a green room, you're like, oh, I mess with them. I'm I, yep. I, I f's with them you know, whatever. And so um, I just remember thinking that um, you and uh, Abby are amazing and I love what y'all doing. And I, m like my head was down on what I was doing. And then like we finally came together for the ABO of it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you know, because, you know, when much like you, you go deep quite quickly, which I appreciate. Right, exactly. I mean, it's a good warning for every interview following you yeah. <laughs> or but, my first. But like, you know, what's so great about everybody at, uh, at this table right now is when somebody says, how are you? I could tell whether they really want to know or not whether they mean it and so they these are real people these are strong women and and they enjoy what they do and so yeah all this to say I don't fully remember I just know that I was like I'm gonna do this same for you yeah it's like hard for me to add to that that was perfect because it's <laughs> exactly energy I mean everybody who knows Michelle loves her speaking of going deep like in a real and genuine way she has this magnetism and light that pulls you toward it. Uh, like um, oh Close Encounters of the Third Kind, you're just like, uh, oh my goodness. Just like waddling towards <laughs> Michelle. Um, she's just so funny. And I, I knew that she was the only person who could deliver the comedy and the emotion in this role. 
your instincts were on point. You do that, both of you do that very much. Um, Pamela, I got a big question for you because you obviously have a significant amount of directing experience. This is your feature directorial debut though. Two, yes, seriously, it's something that should be celebrated and applauded. Two part question, what was it about the story that drew you to it? But then also what was, about, what was it about this production that you thought you would have something to gain from as a director evolving your craft? Well, every, uh in the first place, you know, I got the script and I loved it. And, um, and then I met with Alana and it was, it was a zoom and I was wrapping season five of better things. And I just remember us beaming and smiling and quelling at each other. And, uh, I knew that I love your question because I knew that I had something to offer to them because they both were new moms and I am of the old mom quite kind. And um, it was, uh, I, I remember like I texted Judd Apatow before I started doing this uh, movie and I said, question, I'm gonna direct a comedy in New York this summer, any advice for me? And he said, don't be afraid to be an asshole. <laughs> and I was like, I still don't know that I can do that because I'm a mom and I've always been a mom, like even before I was an actual mom. And so I was able to bring that to them. And then of course, everything that I learned, I mean, the challenges were just like incredible <laughs> because we, you know, we were shooting in, in the, at the height of summer, we were wet from head to toe every day. It was like started at a hundred degrees, would go to 115. This one's wearing a pregnancy belly for most of it. Um, they're both dressed for winter. Um, she literally had three and a half year old twins when we were shooting. So it was just like navigating a lot like, um, and wanting to take care of the story. And the thing about this story is not just the friendship between these two, but Hasan Minaj who plays Michelle's husband, um, including, you know, this healthy relationship and like this man and this woman who love each other, who are opening themselves and their family up and including her best friend from childhood and the way relationships can morph. I have so many follow-up questions. I want to remember the first one that crossed my mind was when you brought up Judd Apatow. So that was the advice that he gave to you going into this uh, this project. What advice would you give to another filmmaker who came to you asking the same question now that you've had this is experience? Is it Gingo? What is it? <laughs> is it Ashwagandha? <laughs> Spill the tea, sis. Harry, we are oofing over here. Yes. I can't wait until we get to my silliest question I, of the I bunch. Think, it's here. It's here. here. The, the thing about it is it's like, um, I think what I learned when I became a director and started running a crew is that when you have the ability to make a decision, everybody else relaxes. So when you make a choice and you can move forward with it, then it makes everybody's job easier. So um, I think that's what Judd meant. It, it, it's, it's what it means to me to, to guide people and take care of the story and the characters and the details. Oh, that's such a good example. Actually, I'm gonna jump to our, our super cut question of the interview. This is a question I'm gonna be asking everybody and then we'll cut it all together in a nice informative package. So I know that when folks are first starting out in this industry, it can be really scary to ask questions. So can you each tell me a seemingly silly question you had about what it takes to make a movie that you wish you had the courage to ask sooner? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, like I'm still trying to figure out what producers do. Fair. It's a fair point. Yeah. I mean, no offense. I know you guys are here, but like, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, every, but every producer is different. You know what I mean? You could have a producer that just attaches their name to it, who just is sort of like the dad at a wedding paying, doesn't want to be involved. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> then you have a producer who's just like, no, I don't like that shirt. It's like, I'm sorry. Who are you? But like also a producer that's like your like onset best friend for everyone. So like the producer of it all, like it's, it is very confusing to me, but also 
wonderful and wild. You know, I asked, I, I spoke to Oliver Platt, who plays Alana's dad in this Amazing. movie. And his first movie, I think, was with Jonathan Demme. And uh, Kenneth Utt, who's one of my heroes, was the producer on that. And he said to him, what does a producer do? <laughs> and Kenneth Utt said, we pick good horses and let them run. Whoa! Uh, what in the West world is going on? <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. What is a question that felt silly? I mean, I had, uh, in the process of this movie, from writing to uh, filming, I had a baby. My question before shooting it was like, how do you do childcare? That was like my literal logistical mm, yeah. question. Like, how do you do that for this? Mine is always like, do I have to be nude? Do you want to see my tits? Do <laughs> yeah. I, As can a I director? cover myself up? <laughs> no, I'm being, I'm, I'm relating to you guys. I'm not an actor. Yeah. I'm a director. I've <laughs> never I pop that top off? acted in I'm anything. I'm here to direct. Here's do my tits. <laughs> I mean, all very important questions to ask, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah which toilet is mine? These yeah. are it things was you hot. have to know. I told you And when you, guys, you figure it, it out, hot. you can take some of our poop spray with you. Oh, my God. Sponsorships. It's great. What in the Shark Tank? What can <laughs> she do? I feel like the only transition from here is to go into my, my sillier question. It's inspired by the movie, though, but I'm, I'm a big horror lover. You know, I like False Positive a lot. And I love this part about your movie. Can you each recall the first horror movie that you watched way too young? Mm, 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 mm. Um, uh, um, Exorcist. Well, How old? That'll mess you up. <laughs> I don't know, but I know that my my uncle is the Archbishop of Jamaica, so I was like, that's what priests do? Like, <laughs> it was, yeah, I was like not going to church. <laughs> I don't know. I, I watch my, when I was a kid. I like we were just talking about sleep anxiety. So I would like stay with my parents while they were watching movies. So I think I saw like I should have like a movie. I I, I don't know. Um, Can we call Larry and Sandy right now? Yeah, I should call Larry and Sandy. <laughs> um, Report back. But a horror movie. I don't. I don't like know. Like a Jason. I feel I like mine wasn't a uh, wasn't a horror movie, but it was the first R-rated movie I went to see in theaters was Altered States. And it was really fucked me up. The dude with the William Burroughs shirt gets me. Um, Altered States. Watch it now. Like, you're like Blair Brown and William Hurt. It was so intense Ugh. and sexual and like, Yum. it was crazy. It made an impression. <laughs> Head cracked open. Breaks my heart. I have to wrap with you all soon. I want to squeeze in one more question about, about the uh, production of Babes, because I, I love hearing about how you can find unexpected magic on the spot on set. So can you recall a time when things weren't going to plan? You found a creative solution and you wound up found you wound up finding that Every something special in the process. Day. Wow. Uh, that's that's just part of it. That's part of filming. We're running out of money. We can't do this. We just, uh, I, uh, you know. Oh, um, the. F I mean the the. I mean it wasn't impromptu, but uh, the photo shoot, like the pregnancy photo the shoot, photo yeah, shoot. Yeah, it was just. That was very fluid. We found we we definitely found our moments yeah. there. Oh, kind of like. <laughs> oh, I know. Breaking the breast pump when you guys were destroying Her Majesty. And it was, we're in Harlem and it's 2.30 in the morning and they're screaming and all of a sudden you hear, fuck you, bitch. And it was one of the neighbors because we were shooting at 2.30 yeah, yeah. in the morning. So I thought that was kind of magical. You know what's yeah. another one that we didn't, I don't think we planned was the bitch run. There's this scene where uh, Michelle's character Dawn is like feeling down and she's uh, a working mom and trying to pump and her marriage is is strained and yeah. my character Eden's in love with her and is like you're the mo you're the most beautiful you're incredible Nurture. everyone loves you you walk <laughs> in a room I mean it's just it was so easy to improvise this part Every you walk in a room and everyone is like who that. <laughs> and um, she kind of can't take it. She can't see herself the way that Eden sees her. And Eden's like, bitch. And she can't take it in yet. She's like, bitch. And, uh, and Eden's like, bitch. And we go back and forth, bitch. And we yeah. really, that was so that much was fun. That was great. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Bouch. Bitch. Like, that <laughs> was very fun. Yeah. <laughs>
I think that's an excellent tease. Clearly, I love your movie. I'm going to tell everybody out there, keep an eye out for Babes. Do not miss it. These two are electric in it. And I'll just make a request. I know you're very good in the TV space as well, but clearly film is my number one. Direct another movie, please. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you for being you. here. Thanks, Perry, for president.